What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And if it's your first time here, you might not know by looking at me that not only am I and we are a personality here on a YouTube platform, in real life I'm a general contractor and tradesperson. And I guess that's why I'm laughing right now. Because some of us grew up watching the TV program, Home Time. And if you watch that program, like I watch that program, Tim did something in that program, I think even Al did it too, that drove me crazy every time I saw it, which was every episode. I know why you're here. Maybe you're a DIYer, or maybe you're just getting into trades, but I know what you want to know. What's the proper way to wear your tool belt? We're going to tell you right after this. Now, here's the deal, everybody. I guess if, if you were uh, maybe a maker or, or a woodworker, you're in the shop, the Atlas 46 vest and all, the, the, the tools are right in front of you. I think that that is good, you know. The, the problem is, and even if you were working in a shop setting, you had an apron that maybe was in front of you, maybe that would be okay. Okay. You know, you'd have your tape measure here in the middle, your speed square, you know, your awls. Everybody in, everybody in, the, in the shop uses awls. We get some pry bars in here. We got pretty much, uh, we're, we're, we don't, we're, we're whittled down to, to bare necessities here. We have our, our nail, nail pullers. We have our reds. These are the most widely used schnips, the reds. You know, even the hammers here, it's on the right, right? I mean, that's where it should be. Right? So a lot of people would, I guess, maybe think that everything here is easily accessible. You're supposed to wear your tool belt on the front, aren't you? Uh, and that's the way Al Borland and Tim, what was Tim's last name? I, I can't remember. Tim uh, Taylor. Tim Taylor, that's it. Tim Taylor and Al Borland, they wore their belt to the front. So should you. The problem is, is that, you know, if you're, if you're going to be working, you know, how, how do you effectively, like, get up and, like, get up and down with your tool belt? Especially if you have maybe some stuff coming out of your, your pouches. How do you really bend down? I guess you could and all. It just seems awkward. When I was a kid, we were taught, taught, taught? We were taught that, I don't, you know, we didn't care what Tim Taylor was doing. We don't care what Tim Taylor's doing. You wear your tool belt with the pouches, okay, to the back, okay? You, you know, I know you can't see it in the beginning. It seems awkward, and you, you might need to reach around to find what you need in the beginning, but over time, you're going to get used to it. Plus. You can bend over easier. You don't have to worry about getting, you know, hit in the stomach with your tools, stabbed in your stomach. You could bend over. You could do your job. It's, it's just the right way, okay? It's the right way. Now, on this, on this belt, my, on this belt, my hammer hooks to the left. Never bothered me. It's not adjustable. It is what it is. How do you wear your tool belt? Do you wear it from the front to the back or the back to the front? Is that, do you wear it with the pouches in the back or do you wear it with the pouches in the front? We want to know. Now, this is the deal. I, I literally, I want to, to, to hear the way you wear it, okay? And quite frankly, it's your tool belt. You can wear it any way you want, but the right way is to the back. With that, I want to say if you like this video and you have an opinion and it drives you crazy when you see people wearing their tool belt opposite to the way that you know it should be worn, then smash the like button. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not already, get subscribed and tap the bell. Why do you want to tap the bell? We do emergency tool deal videos. Some of those videos have tool deals in them that only last a matter of minutes. Never spend more money than you need to on good 
quality tools. Tap the bell, get notified, don't miss out. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. To the back. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.